We had a dynamic study circle program in this community where we talked about how can we reduce and address poverty issues. And we had people from age 75 down to 15 involved in that process. We had people sitting at the table discussing what are your experiences and that basically people are the same. We're all interested in safety, we're interested in economic development, we're just interested in making sure that our children have the best education available. When we got to the study circle large meeting, our ESL families, who many of them didn't speak English or speak it well, stood before a crowd of a hundred people and shared their concerns. Never has that happened on an equal playing field that the voices of the city council and the mayor are equal to the voices of the students in our family literacy class. We are mothers and then we are thinking something for winter, something for the kids to be uh, warm, and then we thinking about a bus shelter. When they decide to vote for our bus shelter, we were so happy. Finally, like Hispanic people, we're going to say something about that community. I, I do appreciate it when somebody asks me to help in the community. I, I like to take part of it, and uh, it was uh, a joy to do it because I was asked. I'm glad that you know it's uh, in good use and, and kids are using it and uh, feel very good about it and I can't wait to start the second shelter. You know, they'll see the hole and they'll see the green and they'll realize that it's for recycling. It's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful feeling to know that you're a part of something larger than yourself. At the end of my senior year, I was going to graduate, and I looked around, and I would see kids recycling. Um, and when something, when something like that happens, it's, it's overpowering. It's like, you know, that it is possible. You know, positive, positive things in communities are possible. We're bonus. That we're always late for everything that we have 30 kids. Like those are the stereotypes that I think about or that I, you know, I've been told that that's what a Latino is, but I really think that it's up to us to really break that stereotype. And I think that I was leader before Horizons started, but I feel like um, Horizons gave me that jump to actually fulfill my, my potential. It gave me that voice and those leadership skills that, you know, I, I didn't know I, I, I had until, until Horizons came along. Horizons is about revisioning. It's about revisioning your community and, you know, picking those unlikely leaders and bringing them with the leaders that are already in place and then creating solutions uh, for the problems that your community is facing. Mi deseo para St. James es, es de que crezca y tengamos mejores opciones para nuestros niños. I hope that young people find the opportunities that encourage them to stay in St. James. My hope for St. James is that we can learn as a community that no matter where we come from, that our diversity is our, is our biggest strength, is our biggest asset. And the sooner that we tap into that, the sooner that we accept what a beautiful thing that is, the sooner that St. James will be the best that it can be. I hope St. James is always progressing and always, always striving for a more successful and united community. We have created a new horizon in St. James and my hope is that we'll continue to march towards that horizon.